there are a lot of different organizations, animal shelters, public shelters, private humane societies, rescue groups, veterinarians, just concerned citizens that are all trying to do positive things. It's, it's partnerships with the other organizations and rescues, but really it's partnership with the community and the people that live there. Because I, I tend to think of the shelter almost as a sink. You know, whatever's happening in the community with the animals funnels in and comes in and, and becomes a concentrated representation in the shelter. And so what's happening with animals in the community is what we see happening here. And so if the, the community is overproducing animals and overpopulating, you're going to have an overpopulation, overcrowding issue in the shelter. The reality is that here at times we have animals that you know, are physically injured or ill or temperamentally aggressive enough that we can't responsibly or humanely place them. And unfortunately, euthanasia is the outcome for those animals. Um, we try to minimize that as much as possible. And in animal services, our live outcome rate's about 93%, 95%. So we do a pretty good job of it. But the reality is some animals are gonna face that outcome. And I think it's a Gandhi quote that you can judge, judge a community or judge a society by the way that it treats its animals. And um, I think that what we're doing here, the building that we've got and the success that we're having, um, both patting ourselves on the back a little bit at animal services, but really community-wide, um, the people in the community uh, this, our, our partners like Woods and, and the other humane rescue groups and so on around the community, they're all doing a great job and I think we, we can judge ourselves pretty well.